LA, of course, is the, um, is the kind of temporary city. It's the city that um, changes more rapidly than you can even, you can even um, comprehend. I will, all of you, I'm sure, had the same. You show up to the nursery you've been going to for 20 years and it just disappeared and no one told you and you go, damn, it's, it's just, things disappear and disappear or you, you don't go to Pasadena for five years. And then you, you, you see a friend there five years later and you, you can't even recognize it. There's, right? The whole thing has changed so fast. Well, we're, we live in a, I've been working on this for a while and in some books, and we live in a country. This is 17 and a half million people with over 100 languages. And it's, um, it's the size of Holland. So Pasadena is Amsterdam and Long Beach is Rotterdam and Los Angeles is The Hague or whatever you want, right? And it's twice the size of Austria. I was just in Austria with a friend of mine and we, we, got, we always get in arguments in, in, in an academic setting. And, um, and I have to remind him, I said, um, Wolf, uh, my city is, is twice the size of your country. He's in Vienna. And your, your Vienna, by the way, is just over a million people. It's just a little village here, all right? It, it is literally Pasadena. And um, again, it goes back to, we don't really quite grasp yet. This is a very new phenomenon. Of course, in this guy's country, in China, it's, we're talking out another Everything ramp is it up times ten, <laughs> right? And um, but this is a this is a um, actually last quarter of the 20th century phenomena, which really um, we haven't got our arms around yet. Kind of really the meaning of this type of urbanization at this type of scale, and it, it affects us in our daily lives. It affects the fact that I have a hard time even moving to this part of town at this point in my life. That it becomes an hour and a half, and it's no longer accessible. So that living in within this. Um, LA from east to west is about 75 miles, um, it changes the rules of even the definition of city. Because most people think of city as an inside and an outside, a country and an urban, right? This very simple kind of, it doesn't work anymore. The inside's outside and the outside is inside, et cetera, et cetera, right? And so it's, it's again, it goes back to these incredibly kind of, um, hmm, an inability even to define the nature of the terms that we're talking right. about at this point. Isn't, but, but it sounds like the intelligence, or if it's, it's of LA or LA intelligence, if we could uh, phrase that, is actually relies on or based on the the notion of expiration. I'm sorry, sorry to use that word. This word is a bit too uh, radical, but the kind of uh, a, a, a transforming ability. You use the temporality, but tempor temporality is really. It's, it's changing forms and changing functions, even changing uh, compositions. So that, that, that may be, because I've seen some photos that uh, f uh, from, uh, I couldn't even name a, pos a position like green and um, uh, some old uh, monuments. And when I look at uh, photos taking 30s and then 50s and uh, outside the window, things changed every, it's completely changed. And I was told somewhere south uh, of the city, and it's changed three rounds and four rounds of uh, uh, architecture. Um, however, and that uh, really is something that it, for me, a newcomer to LA is very uh, encouraging and extremely exciting. And kind of finally you go to a city, actually things change. And things are built in such a way that it's all, always look like it could be replaced by better buildings. So it's always that it's always that kind of a, a hope that things can be replaced. And even it's not a criminal to even wishing that to be placed, right? Because it's really so that kind of quality is very hard. Actually, if you go to you know New York, Shanghai, uh, and Milan and Paris, there's just completely kind of this preserved. There are preservatives in the city. Right rather than a kind of an organic expiring kind of process. But, but LA has that kind of expiring, encouraging kind of uh, uh, energy there. Um, but if it is essence of this the kind of intelligence, LA intelligence, have we actually really, really looked at them and starts to impl implement it into a planning process where planning is not plan for the longest lifespan ever and hope that it reaches the natural or biological life cycle, rather than intelligently planned its life cycle. So that, that, that the beautiful thing about life cycle and lifespan, that, that offset is actually the, the possibility, the space of change, the space for future, and that, that, that kind of offset 
is is a hope for the future. And somehow, if the if planning is a process, not only plan for permanence, but actually plan for expire, expire, ex, plan for expiration. Maybe we can actually all of a sudden revolutionize the technology and even the kind of the way we teach. It's we teach. You asked me a question earlier. It was really hard to get my head around it because I'm so. Uh, I imagine a lot of you would be the same way. I'm, I'm implicitly connected to um, cities as accretional. They grow and they build. And I've never really never thought about the, the expiration as you, as, you, as you talk about it. But it, and of course, it's, um, they're, they're like biological systems. There's um, cells in our body that repro reproduce themselves every three hours, the certain bacteria in your stomach, mm -hmm. et cetera. And it's, right. it's, a, it's only a 200 some days, process. the whole body changes. And of course, LA is maybe so second nature because we, we build temporarily, really. A, a, a type five, a, a stick building is a temporary building. So we understand that. And, and we're at a point now where we've, we've seen first growth. The city is more or less full. And that first growth are these temporary buildings, right? That'll now be replaced by something more permanent.